Number 58. Calculate the ionization constant for each of the following acids or bases from the ionization constant of its conjugate base or conjugate acid. And then we have letter B out of the bunch. So in this case, we have to find the ionization constant of CH33 and H+. The first question is, is this an acid or a base? Now, generally speaking, if you do see that you, you have a positive charge, you're going to be acidic because when you add hydrogens, acidic hydrogens, you always add them as H+. So the more acidic you are, the higher the number your oxidation state is going to be. So this has to be acidic. So in essence, the ionization constant that we're trying to find is Ka, A for acidic. So I went to the back of a textbook and I found the conjugate base for this. Now, I believe, I think I just, actually this makes sense. I did make a mistake here. There should be no H here because remember, your conjugate base always has one less hydrogen. So in essence, we should have stripped that hydrogen away and it's just an N. But the number is correct. The KB is 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. So I just want to go from a KB value to a KA value. What's the formula for that? There's only one of them and that's this one right here. It's the KW equals KA times KB. Now, if we want to try to solve for Ka, you want to get this alone, I would divide on both sides by Kb to cancel it out, right? So for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to do that right now. But you could always just use that one formula and plug in your numbers. But the Kb is coming with, it's going down here, and now we have this lovely thing going on here. So they, uh, we found the Kb value of 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And since we pulled this KB value from the back of a textbook, that means we were at room temp. So that means that we should know the KW value. This probably has to be memorized. This is the ionization constant of water, W water. And that's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, or you could just say one times 10 to the negative 14th, doesn't matter to me. So let's just plug in these numbers. So we have something divided by something equals KA, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, here we go. Calc's out. Let's get it. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And we get 1.6 if we're doing two sig figs. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. And that's it. There's your corresponding Ka value. I really hope this helped. Let's hang tight because we're in the middle of number 58. Letter C is coming in a little bit. If you guys are on the playlist, I'll see you in a little bit. If you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button. That'll mean the world to me. And I will see you all in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye.